Hi, welcome to our web design video blog. We're Nick and James from Creer. This is uh, part three of our tutorial on how to build a website prototype using Photoshop, Fireworks, and Dreamweaver. So here's the final part in Dreamweaver. So now that you've exported your design from Fireworks, you should essentially have uh, an index page like I have here, and uh, the images have been exported into the images folder. So these are all the uh, slices for the up and over states. Um, what I've also prepared are the two Flash files. I've got the two Swifts ready to drop into the prototype that I've made previously in Flash. Also from part one, we have our background slither, uh, which is just bg.jpg, which we're going to repeat horizontally in a moment. So now that I've got all my files ready to go, I'm going to move into Dreamweaver. So I've set up a small site using uh, the Dreamweaver site manager. As you can see, I'm just looking at the exact same files that I've got just here. So let's go back into Dreamweaver and if we open up the index page uh, you can essentially see what Dreamweaver has uh, given us by default. Uh, it's essentially cut up the design for us, put it into a series of tables uh, and just on a basic white background. So in order to get this in the centre and to remove any default HTML padding we're going to pop some CSS in into the head. You, know, you can also see inside here the JavaScript uh, and the rest of the design and the coding that uh, essentially makes the rollovers and so forth work. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply some rules to the body. So I'm going to type body. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of the uh, default margins by doing margin zero. And then I'm going to put my background slither in. So background image. I can browse for this. Choose background. And then the most important one is the background repeat. So because this is only a one pixel wide graphic, we want this to repeat horizontally. So that's repeat x, as in along the x-axis. OK. So now if you view the design, we've got our background in, as you can see. And the margin from the top and sides of the uh, default HTML page have gone. So the last thing to do is just to put this into the center. Um, easiest way to do this is to get the master table, which on here is on line uh, 41 for me. And just align this to the center, like so. Obviously, when you're designing a, pro a proper website, you ideally want to be using CSS instead of tables. Um, but because it's just a prototype, using tables is perfectly fine. So as you can see, we have our design in the center of the page. We have the background repeating on the x-axis. We have all the um, graphics and so forth in the right place. The only thing that's left to do now is to put in our flash files. Um, sometimes the easy thing to do would be to delete these um, holding graphics that we've left in their place and quite simply drag the flash in from over here. However, in certain versions of Dreamweaver, uh, particularly in CS4, uh, Dreamweaver embeds the Flash in a really complicated way. You end up getting lots of JavaScript and so forth, and also you get uh, padding, um, you know, which can sort of come, uh, cause the design to be disjointed a little bit. So what I've done is I've just prepared some um, simpler, you know, just some very basic uh, coding for embedding the Flash. This is quite literally just using the embed tag of HTML. So let's drop the first one in. So all I've done is just deleted the graphic that was once there, pasting that in like so. And as you can see, the flash is now dropped in. And then the same thing with the smaller one. So all I've done here is with the sizes as well as just remember the sizes that I've made them in Photoshop, made the same sizes in flash. And then I've put those sizes in, in into this flash embedding tag. So delete that, go into the code view, and then drop the flash coding in just there. So I've got two pieces of flash on this design like so. And that's pretty much it. So if we can now preview this in Safari. And as you can see, we have our prototype working. It's uh, centrally aligned with the background working. Uh, the flash is working like so on here. And also the same just down here. So that's the uh, basic way of making a quick prototype website. When you tie it all together, you can usually get the process done from being uh, finished in, photo, uh, in Photoshop and within about 10 minutes. So thanks for watching. Thanks for that, James. You can watch the first part of the tutorial here or the second part of the tutorial here, or you catch all three on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.